Hey everyone, so today I am doing a back to school look and I'm basing this look off a picture I saw on Pinterest of Ariana Grande um, but I did a more subtle version that's more suitable for school in my opinion. So it's basically just a really neutral coralish kind of eye with nude lips and really bronze skin. Everything I used in this video is either drugstore or drugstore priced so I hope that helps you out for school you know, people that don't want to spend tons on makeup. And please excuse my voice, I am so sick right now. Like, crazy sick, it sucks. Anyway, this is a collaboration with my beautiful friend Sona, and I will link her video and her channel down below. I did a more heavy makeup look, which I still think is appropriate for school, depending how much makeup your school lets you wear and how old you are. And Sona did a more natural, kind of fresh makeup look, which I think is absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. So yeah, if you want to see her channel and her video, um, make sure you check it out after my video. I'll link it down below. Don't let there be a also, check the down bar because I'll link some of the back to school makeup looks I've done in previous years. And some of them were a lot more natural than this, like no makeup makeup looks and stuff like that. So yeah, first I'm going to start by priming my skin and I'm using this really moisturizing primer because I'm sick as I said and my skin's so dehydrated. And then I'm going to use a bit of foundation just to even out my skin tone. And I'm not putting on too much, I just want to even it out, I don't want to like cake on my face or anything like that. I'm still letting my skin breathe through. Next I'm applying a little bit of concealer under my eyes and just blending that in just to kind of brighten up that area and hide my dark circles. If you are newer to bronzing, I would highly suggest this one by Maybelline. It's not as pigmented as some of my other bronzers, which makes it really easy to build up on the skin. So it's so much easier to apply and you won't go all orange and cakey and muddy looking. And then you can take a denser brush like I'm doing here and contour with the same product. Don't forget to fill in your brows. These brow pencils are really good because they're really, really quick and fast to apply. And the difference of your eyebrows filled in versus not filled in is huge. As you can see here, like they still look really natural but they frame your face so much nicer. The eyeshadows I'm using today are by Makeup Geek and Maybelline. And first of all, I'm going to take a light kind of crease color and just brush that through just to add some dimension and shape to my eyes. I'm taking this shade by Makeup Geek, which is kind of similar, but it has more pinky golden tones in it. And I'm just applying some of this on top of the orange with my finger. And then I'm taking a slightly darker brown than I used in my crease, and I'm just putting that on my outer kind of corner and blending that in. I think this is called Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. It's just like a matte kind of darker highlight shade. I didn't want anything too bright and intense. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of a shimmery color to my inner corners. Now I'm taking a black gel eyeliner and doing a little tiny flick like what Ariana Grande likes to wear and then applying a ton of mascara. I'm not doing any false lashes or anything for school, just keeping it quite simple but obviously a little bit more dressy because it's got the liquid eyeliner. You can totally skip that blush. I'm using quite a natural shade. This is like a darker berry colour so it comes off very fresh and natural on the cheeks and it has a little bit of shimmer in it so I'm not going to highlight. I'm just going to use this alone. Instead of. And then of course the last step is to add your lip colour. You could use any lip colour you want with this look. I just went with a darker nude, kind of inspired by Ariana Grande as I said. 
And that is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. It's just really nice and bronze, simple, fresh, but a little bit more dramatic with the eyeliner and eyeshadow. So you could obviously skip a few steps to make it a lot more natural, but I thought I would just add in a few extra steps than I have in the past. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you did, please thumbs up. Make sure to check out the down bar for Sona's links and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, my God.